What's up, guys? It's your girl, Tamika with a Y, coming to you from the newest and hottest podcast, the Tamika with a Y podcast show. Now, listen, I know you're following me on all social media platforms, but if you are not, baby, what is you doing? Go and click that follow button and definitely go to our YouTube channel, the Tamika podcast, and make sure that you have subscribed and hit the little bell at the top so that every single time we upload a video, you will get an instant notification. Our midweek motivation is a call to action. It is an invitation for growth. And so I want to invite you to embark on a transformative journey with me that is guided by the profound beauty of simply saying no. I want you to take a moment and close your eyes and breathe deeply. Feel the weight of the world begin to lift as you tune into the rhythm of your heart. Now imagine this. Imagine that you find yourself entangled in a web of endless commitments, drowning in the expectations of others. You fear disappointing, letting down, or even being perceived as inadequate, yet amiss all of the chaos, a soft, gentle voice whispers, my dear, it's time to embrace the power of no. You see, in the tender embrace of saying no, we uncover a sacred truth. This simple, small, two-letter word is not a rejection, but it is a revelation of self-love and self-respect. It's the portal to reclaiming our authentic power, the key to unlocking the gates of true freedom. Let me share this wisdom with you. No. The word no by itself is a complete sentence. It requires no explanation and it requires no apology, no elaboration. You see, when you say no, you have made the decision to carve out sacred space, to tend to your own soul's garden, to nurture the seeds of your dreams, aspirations, and desires. You are honoring the essence of who you are. Acknowledging your worthiness and preserving your precious energy, Maya Angelou once said, I can be changed by what happens to me, but I refuse to be reduced by it. You see, embracing no is a radical act of refusing to be reduced by the expectations of others. It is standing tall in the face of the storm and declaring, I am worthy of my own love and care. I want you to weave this mantra into the very fabric of your life. You see, saying no to overextension is saying yes to your well-being. Now let's take a beat and I want you to take a deep breath. Breathe in, breathe out. Feel the courage rising within you. Feel the strength of your spirit as you envision a life that is rooted in authenticity, knowing that saying no, it is not selfish, but it is an act of self-preservation and self-honor. Let the powerful words that I am about to say echo in your soul. Caring for myself is not self-indulgence, but it is self preservation and that in itself is an act of political warfare you see when we dare to say no with love we are defying the oppressive norms that demand our constant sacrifice so i invite you i invite you to embark on this journey embrace the discomfort for it is in the birthing pains of your soul's liberation knowing that in nurturing your boundaries, you are nourishing the seeds of joy and fulfillment. Say no to those things that no longer serve you. Say no to the people that drain your energy and dull the light within. But say yes to the things that ignite your soul, that make your heart dance, that brings you closer to your true self. I invite you to affirm these words. Repeat after me, I am allowed to be both a masterpiece and a work in progress simultaneously. You see, saying no allows you to honor your masterpiece, who you are becoming. 
while acknowledging that you are still unfolding, you are still growing, and you are still becoming. So let us celebrate the beauty of saying no as a pathway to freedom, authenticity, and soulful alignment. Remember that as you embrace this sacred act of self-love, you become a beacon of permission, inspiring others to honor their truth as well. So may we carry this wisdom in our hearts as we navigate the world, knowing that in saying no, we are ultimately saying yes to this exquisite dance we call life. And honey, if we're going to do life, if we're going to do this thing called life, we might as well do it well.